One of the great things about JProfiler is its multitude of probes. They show you high-level data that goes way beyond the raw CPU or memory data. For example, you can analyze JDBC connections or HTTP calls in dedicated views in the probes and database sections here. But what if you have a high-level system that is not covered by JProfiler? JProfiler has two custom probe APIs that let you embed your probe into your own code or inject it into third-party code. And the documentation explains in detail how to do this. You can do things with considerable complexity with those APIs and make custom probes reusable and convenient. However, JProfiler offers a quick and easy way to add a certain class of custom probes in the UI with just a few clicks and a minimum of code. Let's have a look. The animated Bezier curve sample session paints an animation and there's a paint method in the code for which I would like to know how often it is called for different clip bounds. This can be done with JProfiler script probes. Let's see how they are configured in the session settings. Here we add a new script probe and we get a small wizard that explains to us what to do. We give the probe a name and a description and click on next. A script probe intercepts methods and uses a script to construct payload strings from the method parameters. That sounds a little daunting, so let's just try it out for our paint method and see where it leads us. The paint method is in the Bezier Anim demo class and is called paint. Now we get a script editor where we can enter regular Java code. The header area here explains what parameters are available. The script context is basically a map where you can remember things across multiple invocations. Then we have the class and the current object. But here we are only interested in the method argument, which is a graphics object that provides access to the clip bounds. In the script, you always have to return a string. The string should be something that is not different for each invocation, because the idea is to group multiple invocations that result in the same string and then get invocation counts and time measurements for each group. Here, the return value should be a string representation of the clip bounds. Let's try out code completion in the editor. We could have multiple statements with a return statement at the end or just an expression like this. And that's it. That's the entire script for this script probe. Now we start the session and see what happens. Here you can see the animation in progress. Let's have a look at the probe. The script probe will be added in the JE and probe section after the built-in probes. By default, JProfiler does not record probe data. We click on the recording button to start data collection. The recorded data is displayed live. The probe call tree view shows where in the call tree the method interceptions have taken place. By default, no CPU data is being recorded, so they are shown under a node that says without CPU recording. Let's switch on CPU recording as well and go back to the probe view. Now we see the payload string under the correct call stack. The payload string in the leaf node shows the current size of the window. Each probe automatically records telemetries for the number of recorded events and the average event duration. If we minimize the window, no paint events will occur and we can see that in the telemetry. If you're interested in single events, you can record them in the events view and then inspect the thread and the stack trace for each event separately. The most interesting probe view is often the hotspots view, which shows you all recorded payload strings together with their back traces. We can create different payload strings here by resizing the window. You can see probe events directly in the CPU views as well. 
At the call stacks where probe events are recorded, probe links will be inserted that will take you directly to the corresponding call stacks in the probe call tree view. By the way, the quickest way to get started with a script probe is to use the context menu action in the call tree. In that way, you can easily add more methods to a script probe or create a new script probe for the selected method. There are many more advanced things you can do with the custom probe APIs, but for simple method interceptions, script probes are a great way to experiment and quickly create aggregated data that provides valuable insights into the runtime behavior of your application.